Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode... This is the Protein Bond by Young Nails. It's expensive, but it lasts you so long. And for my acrylic system, it's recommended for you to use the same acrylic powder with the same acrylic brand monomer, but I just mix it, but it's only my nails and I've never had a problem lifting. I did struggle with lifting, but only in the beginning because I had trouble applying acrylic. So I think for this set, I use the Mia Secret monomer. I only have the Mia Secret and the Yankalina Costa monomer, but I just use the Mia Secret one. And I use this beautiful cover from Nail Prof in the shade Teddy. This is the shade, it's like a perfect cover nude for ombres or for French tip. I think more for French tip. I love these nails, I'm sorry y'all. This is the brush I use, it's from Yankalina Costa. It's a number 12. This one is pretty tiny, but, but it helps me control the beads so much better. And I'm able to blend it and bring it down because I have pretty small nails. So what I do is I just get it in the monomer and I press it down to get out all the air bubbles. And it works. Like, it makes me apply better. So I dip it in there and you know how it's dripping. I just kind of like swipe off the excess with three dabs. Like, 
dab, 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 and then I go to the powder and I dab three to four times, sometimes even five, if I know that I left too much liquid in the brush. Your liquid to powder ratio is very important. You don't want it to be super runny, and if it dries super fast, the temperature of your monomer matters. The quality of your monomer matters. Weird tip, I put my monomer in the fridge so it's cold because I do not like runny beads, but I just need it to set a little bit slower because I'm not that advanced. If it's hot, it's gonna dry faster and you're gonna have less time to blend it. I'm saying this because I always do my nails in the garage because nobody wants to let me do it in their house because it stinks up, I understand. So I would always have trouble like blending it when it was hot. So when placing the bead, I like to place it like on the free edge, but also connecting to my, my nail bed and make sure it goes from sidewall to sidewall. And I pick it up, make sure it's placed, and then I start dragging it and shaping it into the shape I want. I like tapered square and I make sure it's even. If it's not even, I make sure to put in a clip of realistically how I apply and I always mess up. I still mess up, but it's fine. I, fi I find little ways to fix it. I just try to work a little faster if I mess up, but also keep calm, wipe your brush, keep it clean, make sure there's no acrylic in it straighten it out blend up i just like to do the free edge so i'll do like a sculptive tip if you will and then i'll stop working on it move on to the next nail and start prepping that one or i'll actually start on the sculpted tip but i also use a nail pincher that i got from Drea's nails if you guys watch her her acrylic system is also nail prof usually i'll touch the acrylic if it's still wet it kind of is sticky but you should be able to touch it and if like you can kind of mold it and you can feel that it's still delicate that's when i'll pinch it make sure it's not too sticky so the structure doesn't mess up i'll build the next nail and let that dry a little bit enough so i can mold it into the nail pincher because i like my nails to look narrow and i'll just continue that process Then I move on to the structure. So if you have nail tips and you only use nail tips, all you really have to focus is on the structure. Make sure you don't flood the cuticle. So I have a little tip for you guys. When you're applying around the cuticle area, my suggestion is to get a bead. I get it and then I kind of like stick it on close to the cuticle and then I drag it. I don't want to place it on the cuticle or close to the cuticle. I kind of stick it on and then I drag it. And then I start molding it around and I drag it so it can be blended, clean around the sides. But before going to the cuticle, I put another bead in the middle and sometimes I mess up and it's not big enough to cover the whole nail and give even coverage. Sorry, Andres. So I'll get another bead and I'll place it at the tip and swipe up and blend it so it could be even. Application is very important and I would suggest when you place a bead, try to keep it flat so it's easier to blend and it's not big and bulky. This is when I realized I messed up and I always freak out and like start trying to blend it hard. And this is probably how I get acrylic stuck in my brush. I always use small to medium beads. 
beads i didn't show my beads i don't know why i completely forgot about it but yeah i just try to work with what i can like small beads so it's not too hard so after that these are how my nails looked like unfiled yeah i'm pretty messy with my acrylic but overall it's kind of smooth like the application is not bulky but i still need to file it so the files i use is from beauty secrets they're the coarse ones you can find any coarse file i like to start off at the free edge and just clean that up and once that's straight i'll blend it into my nail bed kind of to make that straight and i'll also file on the sidewalls so that it can be straight and also kind of like round it off so it can kind of be in the shape of the nail and not just like straight like that i don't know that's just my personal preference i like to use the hand files more than the nail drill all i really use the nail drill is for if i really made a chunky nail if i need to bulk it down or the sandy man And then when it comes to the cuticle, if it's too thick, then you can kind of debulk it. So that's what I did. So I did use this nail bit from Jazz Nails as well. It's the cone cart bitch. I don't know. I'm over here trying to say cart. <laughs> I don't like to do a fast speed. I'm still not good with the nail drill. Anyways, after that, I use a sanding band, the same one I used to prep my nails. And I just buffed the nail technically to get rid of any harsh scratches from the nail file anyways now moving on to painting shout out to nail addict for sending me a lot of gel polishes i'll be showing you how i use them in this video so for this specific one usually i'll use the base which i have the nail addict base if i wanted to cover my whole nail with the gel polish but in this case i don't i wanted a french tip so i'm gonna show you all the process of how i painted it So before I paint them, I'm going to buff them. Oh my god, I look like I have old lady hands. But I love the shape. I don't like them too thick. And I did this hand with my left hand. This is the beta buffer I use. Shout out to Nail Addict for sending me these nice nail polishes. I already did my toes with the lilac color. And they look so cute. Sorry my feet are not that um, aesthetic. <laughs> so since I'm doing French tip, I'm not gonna use the base. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing white French tip, so I'm gonna be using the white nail polish. And this detail brush from Amazon. So first I started by painting almost half the nail. It's a little bit above. And I don't cure it right away. I start filling in a little bit the edges, how I did here, and then I cure it. I'm still not gonna cure it. I'm gonna paint the nails evenly where they need to be white and hope I don't mess it up. So this is my second layer, but I buffed it after curing it just because I'm not really good at applying nail polish evenly or gel polish. So I kind of buff it to make it a little bit more even. And now I'm gonna do a third layer. I'm gonna put a gel top coat but I don't like to put a big thick layer Add a little bit. I leave like a little bit on the brush and then I do the free edge first and work my way up. Okay. When I did three top coats, there were three thin top coats. So I would have been fine with two top coats if I covered the whole nail. For the gel top coat, I have the Kiara Sky one. It's not that good. It gets the job done, so I, I still use it. And when I apply it, my suggestion is to kind of like rub it on there so it can stick on. Because sometimes it doesn't adhere to my nail. Make sure you guys check them out down in the description box as I have so many colors to pick from. For this one, I just did a simple set. And this is the UV LED light I have. It's from Amazon. I suggest investing in a good one, like a $30 to $50 one, not a $16 one because it will not cure it. And if you don't want to get the whole gel polish collection yet, then you don't need it. You can just use regular polish. 
So now on to the products. So if you're starting out, I really just recommend getting a coarse file, a medium grit file, if you don't want a nail drill. I think you should start off with the Mia Secret acrylic system. If you're practicing and it's too runny for you, you could put some acetone in the monomer and it'll let the acrylic dry faster. It's just too runny for me. I don't like using it. I don't recommend the clear one because that one's just super runny. So maybe get like a cover so you can actually see where you're placing it and it leaves a cute nude. So when I started my little gel collection, I know y'all see D&D at the nail salon and Kiara Sky. So I don't know how I found this website, but I found it. It is DTK Nail Supply. Super affordable and it comes in the set. I just don't find myself using the nail polish i just use the gel polish if i'm thinking about it i should have just got gel polish and nail addict is really high quality and a good brush you have to invest in a good brush when i first started i would get like okay brushes maybe like a 16 dollar acrylic brush but that was fine because i always ended up getting acrylics like my brush so it's good to practice with those if you struggle a lot i will be leaving everything linked down below if you really want to go into a nail drill, I started off with a $20 one, it got the job done. All I did with it was for sanding and kind of debulking. But if you focus on your application, it shouldn't really be a problem and you shouldn't use it too much. Usually the cheap um, nail drills will come like with like a couple bits and sanding bands. I think these are useless. The only one I really like is the pointy one, so my cuticle area. Nail tips, I'll leave some link down below that I recommend. And nail glue is super cheap, you can find any nail glue. So that's just what I started with and slowly I started getting everything, like the UV lamp. I got a cheap one, didn't work. I started getting gel polishes. If you guys want more videos like this, I can definitely do them. I think it's so satisfying doing nails and I love doing my own nails. This is how they ended up. Well, I did this with my left hand so it's kind of like messy around the edges. I love them. They do not lift on me. And primer really does matter. But if you don't got the money for it right now, then you could just practice on it like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. And talk to you next time. Bye.